Hello, my name is Robert from Tomer Express, and the topic of today's video will be network setup on a Canon Image Runner Advanced copier. So please uh, come with me now, and we'll take a look at the display panel and do the steps of the process. Take a close look at our Canon Image Runner copier panel. And uh, before we proceed to change the network settings, we will have to press the settings button. The next step would be to go to the preference option. And if you look in the right hand column, four rows down, you will find a network setting menu. Press that. So, once again, looking at the right-hand column, the first thing to do is to confirm that your network connection uh, setting changes are on. If yours happen to be off, go into that menu, press the on button, and press OK to save that ch change. So, now that our uh, settings are on, we proceed down to the next row, TCP slash IP settings. We'll press that row to get into that menu. Uh, we proceed now to the IPv4 settings. And once again, on the right-hand column, uh, use IPv4 settings. Confirm that that is on. If in your copier that happens to be off, go into that menu, press the on button, and save that choice. Okay, we will go down to the next menu, IP address settings, press that row, and before we proceed farther, we're going to clear the existing numbers out of each one of these things. So the clear button is the C, clear. Subnet mask, we'll clear that. And the gateway address, we'll clear that as well. And the reason we do that is for simplicity, uh, because it's easier to get rid of zeros and other numbers that way. So, at this point we'll reference the uh, IP settings for um, your network, and we'll enter them in. Okay, I've entered in the IP address, I've confirmed that it's correct, and I'll move down now to the subnet mask. Once again, we'll enter in those numbers. Okay, I've entered those in. Next, we proceed to the gateway address. There, I can uh, backspace that out. Okay, I've checked my numbers. That's right, so I'm going to press OK to save those changes. Okay, so now I'm going to um, back up to uh, TCIP settings on the TCP IP settings on the left hand menu and proceed to the DNS settings menu. So I'll press that. So now I proceed to the DNS server address settings. Now, same as the last time, I'm going to clear these numbers. The clear key on the primary DNS server and also on the secondary DNS server, clear. So I've done that, I don't save that yet. At this point, that's when I'll enter in my um, primary DNS server address. And a tip, this is quite often the very same as your gateway address. Okay, I've confirmed 
confirm that's right. Now you could stop at this point and not use a secondary uh, DNS server, or you may choose to use a public DNS setting. Uh, in this case, we're gonna use the Google setting, which is a series of four eights. So press that. Once again, confirm your settings. I've checked them, they're correct. So I'm going to save it with the OK button. Now at this point, we're almost done, so I'm gonna close the menu. And to have these settings take effect, we have to shut down our copier at the main power. Now this shutdown process may take up to two minutes. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and we enjoyed putting it together and we look forward to creating new videos to help you with your copier. Please check our website for more information. Thank you.